One of the common misconception is that if you want to use hugging face models locally, you have to first download them and then you can do the inference. Or you might have to buy some credit from hugging face or create a face and then use it. The thing is, it is very, very simple to use any hugging face model locally just with API. So if you're looking to do your API calls locally to hugging face models, just like we do with OpenAI's models, then you can do it in a very, very simple way. And I'm going to show you in this video as how to do it. For this, you don't even have to log into hugging face and you don't even need an API key or access token. But I would highly suggest that you grab one. Otherwise, there is a lot of rate limiting because a lot of people are using it for free. So the first step, create a account on Hugging Face if you don't have already. Then on the top right, just click on these three bars or your profile picture, go to settings. And then on the left hand side, just click on access tokens and then create a new token. And that is just for free. Just give it any name and read is fine. And then generate a token. Once you have your token, go to your local uh, code editor, wherever you are looking to do the inference with hugging face model locally. I am using VS code. So first up, you would need to do two things. First, just simply install this hugging face underscore hub library with pip and then export this hugging face underscore token or HF underscore token and then simply put your token here which you have just copied and created on hugging face website once that's done and these are in your environment then simply you need to run this code let me run it and the prompt which i am passing it is simply this what is happiness so let me run it and then i will explain the code let's wait for it to come back there you go so you see that all i have done I have simply put in my prompt and it has given me the uh, response back a very very fine response from a model and the model which i'm using is pi3 mini and you can put in any model from hugging face there are some big models which sometimes refuse to answer because there is so much load or it is quite expensive but all in all i have found out that most of the model you can easily use like this and if you don't abuse it you can use it in even in even in your small application for free so first up i'm just importing these libraries then i'm specifying my models repo id which you can of course grab from hugging face website and let me quickly show you how to do that so just go to hugging face like i'm here then search for your model once you have your model this is the whole repo name the model developer which in this case is microsoft slash your model name simply click on these uh to sort of scales and it will copy it then go back to your code editor like this and paste it here i already have it then instantiate your llm client with that inference client library of hugging face here then simply time out 120 it is more than enough two minutes and this is a function which i have defined call llm and then we are just passing it the inference client we are passing it our prompt and we are getting the response back sim with simple http post method and then we are just generating 200 tokens you can increase it but because it's a free one i would just suggest keep it like this so that it will be less chance of that you are throttled for rate limiting and it is going to respond um, in a string format of because it returns a json and there you go so i'm just storing the response back from this function and then i am printing out the response so this is how easy it is to do inference with it for example let me change the prompt here i'm just going to ask a coding question i'll ask it um, write write me a python program to deliver the list let's save it let's go down let me clear my screen and let me run that again and sometimes you will get some sort of rate limiting and in that case just wait for a few minutes or seconds and then try again but this time you see because i'm not abusing it it has given me a perfect answer here that it has just given me this program of 
um, Python which is reversing the list. This is how you do it and how easy this is. And similarly, you can change the model. For example, you can replace this phi with maybe tiny llama or any model of your choice. And then you can run the inference again. So for example, let me change the prompt here. I'm just going to ask it. Write me a crazy joke. And let's see what it does. I'm just going to save it. Let's clear the screen and let me run it again. You see, because I think it's a uh, chat model, so maybe that is why. So you can, but inference is working. And let me now show you the pricing at hugging face because that is important to know if you face start facing throttling errors or that sort of stuff. So here you can see that this is a hugging face hub. This is a free account which I am using at the moment, and you can see that I can upload, download any sort of models. And then I can create as many private repos as, as I want. I already have plenty. And then we already have seen that we can use that inference and there is community support in the forum, which is quite good. But pro account is also quite good in my humble opinion. It's just US dollar nine per month, and then you can do a lot of stuff. And there is less rate limiting in this. Still there is, but less. And then Enterprise Hub is quite advanced, quite generous, and there is very little um, throttling there. But of course, if you're really, really hammering it, it is going to throttle your access. And it starts at $20 uh, per user per month. And then we have Spaces Hardware. I already have done a video on zero GPU, which you can check out on my channel where I explain that how can you create it. You can even, uh, you know, use gpus there too but if you want to simply use cpu you can easily do it and then inference endpoint that is what we also uh, you know use but it is you can have your dedicated endpoint in setting settings where you can if you have your own custom model which you fine tune with auto train or anything else and you upload it and you want to just host your own model fine tuned one or trained one you can host it and then you can simply access it like this it is very cheap as you can see 0 0.032 per hour if you compare it to with any other hosting provider you will be surprised how cheap this pricing is and of course there are a lot of other things which you can check out i will drop the link to it in video description i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching